The successful are thermostats, whereas the mediocre and the average are more like thermometers. Thermometers are just kind of there going for the ride. They're just there to read the, uh, the energy and the climate of the surroundings. Whereas the thermostat, the players, the movers, the shakers, the, the heavy hitters, these people make the climate. They bring the heat. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. If this is your first time actually checking out the channel, at the end of the content, please comment your likes, your takeaways, because I got a special video for you. And this is gonna apply to any salesman, just in general, right? If you if you market and you sell for a living to, to basically, de you depend on sales in order to feed yourself or feed your family or keep your lights on, then this video is for you because I'm gonna share with you three important habits that the absolute most successful people are going into 2019 with. And these three habits are actually what's going to distinguish and set them apart from everyone else and so my hope here in this video is to give you insight on what these three habits are so that if you don't have one of these three or all of these three right now, you can incorporate it into your day and actually change your lens. Your lens, what I'm talking about is the way you view things. We all see things through our own lens. Some might call it point of view, some people might call it perspective, whatever you call it. I believe it's our view on things that determines our end result. And so that's gonna be the primary theme of this video is that all three of these habits have to do with the perspective. It has to do with the individual's point of view, how they see things. And there's three important habits that the most successful are walking into 2019 with, and we see it every day. We, we just don't know it. We don't realize it because again, our lens is different. And so if I could show you how to see these things, then you can pick up on the, on the actual hacks that are happening right in front of us and actually use them as tools so we could build a bridge to take ourselves to where we want to go. So let's get with the show. So habit number one, number one is that they see things different. Let me, let me give you an example. When, when we look at rejection, right? Or when we look at objection, the common way to look at it is it's a grind. Is it's like, oh no, they don't like me because I'm not good enough. Or, oh man, they probably don't like me because my fees aren't low enough or because my rate isn't low enough. And at the end of the day, I want us to really recognize how the successful go through it. And I want you to ask yourself, how do companies charge premiums and get away with it, right? Like there's these, there's companies right now, you know, I won't say the name, but the, uh, the initials are QL, right? People know them as Rocket, right? And so anyway, this, these companies, these high expensive retail companies, how is it that they could charge premium costs in order to acquire their business? Is it because they sponsor the PGA? Is it because they're all over the media? You see, I believe the reason why is because they actually look past rejection. And I'm not complimenting the company, I don't work for them. But what I'm getting at is they, they weed out the rejection. So they look at rejection a little bit differently. And I'm not saying you need to be like QL. What I am saying is you need to adopt the kind of the mindset and the view and the way the process works. Because if you're going into your day and you're fearful of rejection, you're looking at it through the wrong lens. Instead, look at it through the way that successful people look at it and they look at it as a stepping stone. Meaning that they look at the rejection as a way to understand how to improve the second time around or the next time around. They look at rejection as an opportunity to get closer, right? Like you might have heard that before, like it's a numbers game. Every single no you get, you're closer to a yes. Well, what they're really talking about is that every single time you get a no, you actually are supposed to, they don't really go into detail, right? But you're supposed to assess like, okay, well, what went wrong? How could I have changed it? And after so many assessments, you're going to naturally improve, right? And this is why it's so important to have a mentor is because the mentor's gone through the million no's. They've gone through the thousands of rejections that it took for them to finally get consecutive yeses. And that's ultimately what made them uber successful. But the second habit and the second thing, uh, uh, way that they look at things is they look at that they look at things further than the common individual. And what that means is they, they look at things further than the next transaction. So, so in other words, 
When we go into our blocks of origination, we may just be primarily focused on looking for that immediate transaction. Like when's our next deal? When's our next funding, right? We don't see, in other words, we don't see things farther than the next month. So we're just focused on our goals for this given month. But who's actually thinking of March? Who's thinking of, who's thinking of summer, right? Who's thinking of quarter three, quarter four? Who's thinking of 2020? Who's thinking of three to five years from now? Not too many because we're evolved in this world where we want immediate results. Internet has, has wired us to get immediate results. We stream 4K movies in the push of a button, right? And we pay convenience fees, don't we? <laughs> we'll pay premium fees just to get it right now, right? You ever buy anything from Amazon? You had a choice to wait five days to get it for free or pay 10 bucks to get it in two days. Some of us have even paid premiums of like 90 bucks, like on certain things we'll order just to get it the next day, right? So these are examples of, of how fast we are wired to want things. And so it's okay if you don't see things further, but that's what the successful are doing. They see things further. So they see every single engagement as an opportunity to build a relationship that will constantly be in their book of business. It will constantly feed them. So they're willing to make the initial sacrifice so that they can attract the right amount of people to incorporate into their database, which will ultimately become their book of business because that entity or that person person, the successful person that sees further than the initial transaction, understands that that person is going to continuously buy from them, is going to continuously became an, become an opportunity to them, whether it's through referral leads, whether it's through repetitive business, whether through its client testimonials and reviews. You see, every single transaction we see, we have to really break it apart and see it for what it is. We have to remove the lens of us just seeing for the next transaction and then move on to the next. So if, for example, if you're going through like your leads right now, you're just like, okay, next, next, next. You're not looking at it right. You're looking at it with an old pair of lenses, you know, so, so change the way you look at things. You have to look further. So that's habit number two. And then finally, habit number three is that they see the silver lining in things. In other words, they see the opportunity where most see failure. And so, so for example, if right now you believe you're not getting enough deals because your leads are trash or because your company's marketing is trash, then you're not looking at the silver lining. The silver lining is, well, let's take a step back and see what day and age we are. We are in 2019, boo-boo. We got an opportunity right now where we could pull out our cell phone, make a video, and broadcast it to the entire county, the country, the, right? The state. Like you have to understand the opportunity you have before you, but are you willing to look at that? Or do we sometimes want to become more or less kind of the, uh, how can I put it? The thermometer, right? Like, uh, like there's a difference between a thermometer and a thermostat. A thermometer is just going to kind of read the air. It's just, it's just there, right? Like it's just, it's going to be affected by the energy of the air, the climate of the surroundings, whereas the thermostat makes its climate. So in other words, the successful are thermostats, whereas the mediocre and the average are more like thermometers. Thermometers are just kind of there going for the ride. They're just there to read the, uh, the energy and the climate of the surroundings. Whereas the thermostat, the players, the movers, the shakers, the, the heavy hitters, these people make the climate. They bring the heat. Does that make sense? They change the environment around them. And so the difference in that third tip of, of what the successful people are doing, their habits is that they see the silver lining and they see the opportunity where most are focused on the problems at hand. And so if we can adopt these three things and we can really recognize the opportunity that we have in front of us, maybe we wouldn't spend so much time dwelling on the things we don't have. You know, there's one key thing that you really got to do is you got to sometimes take a step back and understand what we need to be grateful for. Because because without having that gratefulness, we're always going to be in this dark cloud. We're always going to be in this dark state, upset at the world that we didn't get fed something for how, you know what I mean? Like, like we're special because our NMLS number is one of the OGs, right? Like I've been here for five, six years. They don't care about that, boo boo. You know what they care about is results. And if you, you're either going to play this game or you're going to become played in the game. Does that make sense? So comment below. Let me know which one of these three are your favorite. If all of them are your favorite, let me know. If you currently have one of these three habits or all three of these habits, comment and let me know. I hope you guys really enjoyed this show. I hope you guys really do include incorporate these habits because tomorrow, you know, the breakfast of champions is on. Today is Wednesday, Jan uh, January 16th. 
2019 and tomorrow is going to be January 17th and that's Thursday, right? So every single Thursday I've brought back the Breakfast of Champions which is a live stream where I share 30 minutes with you in the morning from 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I broadcast it live on both YouTube and Facebook. I also do it on Twitter as well as Instagram. So if you're on any of those media channels, be sure you add me to your stream so that once I go live you get notified and uh, and and uh, it's at, the handle is at, at Sales Remastered and if you have by now join my email list by requesting a copy of the free sales script the sales script that I have has been updated and improved so if you say hey D I already got your sales script from last year no you got to go up <laughs> you got to download it again you got to download a copy because it's been updated I incorporated a few different things kind of tweaked it out a little bit um, made a couple adjustments and at the very end of the new sales script that that was just updated in December so if you have a, a copy of the sales script before December 2018, you got to go there and up, upload it again. You got to request a new copy again. And um, and at the very end of the sales script has this uh, conversion checklist, and it's gonna it's gonna give you a quick rundown of the certain things you want to do uh, within your engagement to ensure you have a higher chance to convert that lead into a sale. And it's actually got checkbox for you, so you understand what pieces to cover, and it's kind of like a map, a map for you to get to that next level. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be talking about in 2019. Tomorrow in the Breakfast of Champions, I'm going to be covering how to brand yourself in 2019. If you're a purchase agent, if you're a refinance agent, if you're inside, outside loan agent, you're going to want to watch that live stream. Hell, if you're just in sales, period, you're just going to want to watch that uh, live stream tomorrow because it has to do with the third habit of the most successful and that's seeing the silver lining. It's seeing the opportunity where most are kind of seeing the issues and the problems. Where most see the issues and problems with their company's marketing, I'm going to share with you how to brand and become your own marketing. I'm going to show you how to how to distinguish yourself from everyone else, from every single business, be heard because you're making noise in a different way and attract leads which become your leverage to attract referral partners. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. I'll see you guys on the next episode.